Executing a polypiece piece is the process of joining two bubbles. One ball acts as the foot, and the other becomes a flange or cylinder. In this series, contrasting colors, usually opaque, draw attention to the different design elements. The vessels are created as pairs using horizontal and vertical shapes. A given amount of glass is gathered on the blowpipe, then shaped in a wooden block. It's chilled at the marvering table, and the glass is distributed around the bubble. The glass takes shape as it is rolled on the bench and formed with a piece of wet newspaper as the assistant inflates the bubble to the correct volume. A neck is established, and the spiral wrap is applied by an assistant. A lapis blue gob of glass is applied to the moil, the glass that's on the blowpipe. Both pieces are heated. The sphere is inserted into the flange and then squeezed down, making the attachment. The flange is then broken off of the blowpipe. He now works the sphere and the flange. A lip wrap is applied. It's then opened after five or six reheats. At the final reheat, it's spun open and the final form is shaped with a paddle, setting up the curve of the bowl. I personally feel it's maybe one in a hundred that really have that really, really special quality. And then there might even be a culling process from that. It's actually broken away. Yeah. Nope. Most of the objects that Benjamin makes don't survive. By far, the majority become landfill. But once in a while, I'll do a, a project where I might utilize some particular pieces for, I've done a couple projects use, doing some particular fenestration, that is windows, stained glass, using, cutting up um, some of my pieces and incorporating them in a, in a door or a, or a window. Benjamin Moore and Lewis Muller have a truly collaborative relationship. They share a similar design aesthetic and work ethic and bring to their collaborations the technical expertise in their chosen mediums of glass and metal. As a result, the metal in their installations is an integrated design element, not just a support for the glass. Over the past 15 years, they have designed and installed numerous commercial and residential projects. Most recently, they have experimented with stretching the concepts of traditional lighting fixtures. With some works, the light sources are not even integral to the installation itself. The use of glass roundels in some installations allows for the interaction of a variety of colors and clarity, from transparent to opaque. I look at things differently depending upon whether it's something that I'm personally just creating on my own whim or instinct, whereas if I'm given a particular charge for a specific commission, it's a whole nother way of looking at an object. Because you're challenged, you know, if, 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 if you're given a, a commission, or if you're doing a commission, it's generally that you're challenged to make a particular thing for a particular space and to fit a given number of requirements. Whereas if you're doing something just coming from the gut or, or something that is of interest to you, the criteria of which you evaluate those two things are, are very different. The latest commission done in collaboration with Lewis Muller was for a home in the Seattle area. When I first worked with Lewis in coming up with a particular idea for this home, I kind of just thought of it in a very kind of singular kind of way. But once the piece was installed and we actually looked at it, I was able to step back and look at it in many different ways and see many different things that I did not actually see in the actual conceptual process of developing that particular piece. When the piece was finished, there was connotations of drips of water hitting a pool and spreading out with the rods that actually supported these round discs that were hanging down. When you're standing directly underneath it, looking up at it, you almost had the feeling of balloons kind of floating above your head. And then when you stood back away from it at another angle from underneath as well as when it descended, I mean, it just created all these different feelings in viewing it, which I had no idea when I was actually working out the design with Lewis. With a timeless quality and a beautiful sense of proportion, 
Benjamin Moore's glass is clean and strong, pure and simple, the product of a team approach to studio glass. If there's ever a time to say thanks to all the remarkable people that I've worked with, whether they be people who are at the peak of their careers or established artists or whether they're emerging artists, young people who are just coming up. I mean, the opportunity to work with different individuals and to share is what it's all about for me. You know, and having had the opportunity to work with you know, established artists who are remarkable individuals and talented beyond belief and also bringing along a lot of the younger people like Preston and, and Dante and all the different individuals that I've worked with over the years has been a remarkable ride.